What's up people, it's OTC Prime and this is some Caparis gameplay, requested gameplay. But first off, this is headquarters on Summit and I just want to show you some of the spawns. Um, I'll be doing this with a lot of my HQ videos showing where people are spawning. Um, right here I'm looking at where other people, sh where other teams should have been spawning but we flipped the spawns and the spawns are completely different to other games that you will see in the future. Alright, so never think people are going to be where you thought they were last time because they will always 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 change all right um, so yeah I'm going to get back onto my player and here we roll um, once again I will be speeding up from time to time just keep the video rolling uh, 15 minutes is the max I can do but anyway let's move on to this beast of a weapon first off I'm going to talk about the perks I'm using and this is to justify or what to make this weapon effective in my opinion and this is be the best thing I could come up with and that is scavenger, warlord and ninja alright um, you probably don't have to use warlord you can just probably take that out but in my opinion I like having a silencer on my weapon well at this period of the, my black ops games I was using silencers exclusively which I do on my assault rifles uh, but I found a new favorite class which I will tell you in greater detail in the future but this video is not about that so anyway I'm using scavenger and warlord the reason why is because I want the silencer and the small ammo clip on this weapon um, you get 20 mags as standard with it so put extended mag on there and you get 30 rounds so I was wrenching through ammo so quickly I was getting two three kills with this weapon and that was it so scavenger was needed in my opinion um, so yeah Scavenger was an extra bit and I just go on a rampage in this game and I was very happy with this weapon. As you can tell I'm trying to stay in close close quarter combat. Um, I'm not wandering out in big open areas. I'm sticking to close quarters. See, flash fail there. <laughs> Dolphin dive out of the way. And this guy man, he just constantly try to get up there. But anyways, um, if you guys want me to talk about why well, actually you can't answer me so I'm just going to go through it again uh, if you didn't watch the MPL video then I will go on and talk about the stats for these weapons um, like the MPL I mentioned before has a 32 mag size and it takes 2.25 seconds to reload the Spectra 30 click mag size and takes 2.3 seconds to reload and the Caparis has a 20 mag size and 2.1 seconds reload time okay so there's small little differences here or there but once again perks attachments change all that alright so adjust accordingly to your style of play and how you want to use the weapon alright um, so in my opinion scavenger was needed for this and the extended mag was needed okay so having the extended mags and no science for me was a bit of an issue ghost I could lo lose uh, but the silence I just couldn't at this time I needed that um, because I'm finding if you're flanking enemies you need to stay silent uh, if you're being behind them um, other maps like Nuketown you don't really need a silencer because HQ on those map on that map is just crazy it doesn't matter where you are so Appearing as a red dot doesn't mean shit with that map. <laughs> Alright, uh, but with, with regards to bigger maps like this map for instance, this is a medium map so still um, science was needed, uh, ghost not so much. Alright, um, but yeah I just go on beast mode with gun, I had a lot of fun using it. I would recommend anyone using it. Uh, this and the MPL, once again, people that say the AK 74U is overpowered. It's just, just they just don't know what they're talking about. Match these two weapons up to the AK 74U, the MPL, and the Caparis. Close range, they will outdo the AK 74U, and that is a fact. All right, there's no denying that. Trust me. Put it up together, and you will see who will win. The rate of fire on these weapons will just drop in AK 74U. The AK 74U comes into its own. Um, for distance and even then that's going to be connection based on how good your aim is alright and where you hit them hit the guy on the body I'll well, check this I, th I expected the guy to come to me so I'll try to knife him but that is just so stupid <laughs> uh, but anyways try out these weapons change your perks change your attachments and find a combination to it don't give up on a weapon if you don't use it once yeah I used to have a buddy no longer on my friends list because he's a complete dick um, and you probably know who you are um, 
I would recommend a weapon and some perks towards him, attachments and whatnot. And he would try it for about what a two minutes, and if he didn't like it straight away, it wasn't according to how he would play. Then he'd give up on it. He wouldn't try it again, and that is it. I mean, he just and then a few games later, like or a few days later, or a week later, whatever, he'd be like, hey, like this weapon and this did it. It's all great, but look, dude, I fucking told you about that so long ago. <laughs> Alright. So, I don't really like giving out weapon tips or perks and whatnot. Just because it depends on the user. Yeah, it depends how you play the game. Depends how you approach the game. Yeah. Um, my connection is so bad. Um, I shouldn't really be an aggressive player, but that's how I am. I like to be objective based and I like to run around and I, I like to cap bases and get points and get lots of kills at the same time I want to do it all and that's just me and I get pretty frustrated but that's just due to my connection mainly I lose some gun fights where I shouldn't lose and once again it's my connection so a lot of my friends hear me bitch about and they go yep yeah, bruv you're in Mexico like chill out dude like we're west coast and east coast and you know, whatnot and you're in Mexico so chill out man um, so yeah just imagine what I'd be like on a four bar <laughs> all right uh, but anyways, try out these weapons. Please try out the MPL and this Caparis. Try it with the perks I've used for them. If not, once as I've said, for adjust to your game style. And just look at that! Boom! The guy was dead in an instant. Right? This gun is powerful, and I'm I'm getting even more comfortable with it. I think this was like the second game I used. The previous game, the host rage quit, so I couldn't get good footage with it. But this game, I just went in beast mode and. It's just it's a beautiful weapon, very beautiful weapon. Uh, if I changed my kill streaks, possibly I would have. Oh, please! I'm telling you guys, look away right now. I'm sorry to be so random, but this is the funniest shit ever. Oh shit! I put that on me. I tried to jump over there, fail. <laughs> I should have just burnt myself. That would have been better. But I always do that. And since after this game, I switched up from napalm, and I didn't use napalm again, and I haven't. It's a great kill streak, but. I just mess up so much shit with it. <laughs> My latest kill streaks are uh, UAV Blackbird and Chopper Gunner. I uh, mix that out with uh, attack dogs now and again. Um, right now, at the moment, as of last night, I was running Blackbird, uh, Chopper Gunner, and dogs, and was been pretty effective with it. I had a great, great night last night. So those games will come up in the future. They way, way in the queue. All right. Um, but anyways, it's damn long to talk for 15 minutes, like wow, I've never done it before and it's pretty tough. Well obviously I did a previous video, but still, one after each other, my mouth is going dry and I need a drink, I need a coffee actually, coming up to what, 10 past 6 in the morning, it's getting late, uh, but I'm going to render these videos and I'm going to put them out on YouTube, so I ain't going to bed yet. My baby boy is going to be awake because I'll be feeding him and hopefully just be rendered by then. Um, I'm also going to be coming up with something new. Oh, no, what? I'm, just, I'm going off the total topic here. I'm not going to go into that. But anyway, see that guy where he spawned? He spawned right in front of me. Poor dude. Like, <laughs> now, I, now you know how I feel, bitch. And there he is again. I just killed the same guy. Um, just going to go. HQ, I would recommend anyone who wants to rank up quickly and wants to do it legitimately to play this game mode. Try it. It's a lot of fun. Get your team organized. Don't give up straight away. Play it. Get warmed up into it. Now, once your team gets accustomed to playing this and you're starting to know your roles. As I've said, all you need is three cappers and the three support players watching people's backs and uh, the sight lines and open entries and whatnot. Ooh, that sounded wrong, open entries. <laughs> um, anyways, let's move on before we talk about it even more. Um, get your team organized and go in there. Don't go into this game mode unorganized. And if you if you attempt to go in this game on your own and you just kill a whore, then you're a bitch. Seriously. Play the objective. Don't go into objective game mode and don't play objective because that just, for me, I hate that sort of shit. And that's just working on your... KD. To me, that doesn't really matter as regards to objective games. You can play objectively and still get a K good KD. 
uh, my stats can prove that and a lot of my friends on my friends list stats can prove that as well I know stats aren't everything but I regard myself to how well I am playing and what I am doing right and wrong um, in terms of my stats so I look at my stats reflects on what I'm doing and I've always been like that um, since uh, my days of playing soccer and other sports stats stats show how effective you have been in certain areas you know so um, and I look at every stat I look at my um, kill streak stats I look at my hit detection stats I look at every game mode I even look at the heat maps yeah and I watch my theater mode and I see where I went wrong and I look at the points of views um, different angles um, I go on the free camera to see where enemies are coming and where I wasn't looking and I see on a lot of moments um, where I'm in game I didn't see this person but watching through theater mode I see this guy all right look right here like I'm fucking about too much trying to get up there <laughs> and I die you know uh, but uh, stats to me are very important I look at that KD wise not important win losses and I'm very proud of my win loss and I hate to fucking lose I hate losing um, and we just had this debate on uh, OTC forum um, and a lot of people want to play for fun and a lot of people do, uh, just want to win so we have this little debate here or there whether it's um, cool to just go in and, and just have a lot of fun and whatever um, so my point of view is I like to win and I have fun when I win I don't like to lose I don't like to die a lot alright I have fun if I want to have fun I go into a wager mode and I'll fuck around and that but even then I get competitive because I, I want to finish up in the money and whatnot and again my stats wise regards to the money or the gun games and whatnot is, or the wager mode sorry are very important but anyway I was rambling on I was trying to keep this convo going you know talking about one subject is pretty tough so anyways I hope you all enjoyed this video you lot take it easy enjoy the rest of your weekend peace